Hello and welcome back to A Level Business Channel and in this video we're going to look at discounted cash flow method of investment appraisal. So what is investment appraisal then? Investment appraisal is simply working out how long it will take you as an investor to get back your initial investment. So the period, how long it will take you and you use different methods to calculate exactly how much return you will get and in how much time the payback period and so on okay so this is the discounted cash flow formula we have this cash flow divided by one plus r to the power of one or the to the power of n okay so discounted cash flow takes into account the inflation or the discount rate so just imagine you've got a £10 note in your hand today and imagine now imagine what that £10 note's value will be in the next five years. So obviously, logically thinking about it, if you think about it logically, you will come to the conclusion that that £10 note that's in your, that, that, that's in your hand right now will be worth much less in the future in the next five years for example because of inflation so that's what this discount this method does it takes into account the inflation we have the discount rate it takes into account the future rate so we're looking at the discounted values of the investment of the investment returns so for for example okay let's let's start with an example for example say that your company wants to launch a project the company's weighted average cost of capital is 5%. That means that you will use 5% as your discount rate. The initial investment is 11 million pounds and the project will last for five years with the following estimated cash flows per year. So again, with investment appraisal, when we do the chapter investment appraisal in A-Level Business at Excel, you will see three different methods of calculating the return on your investment and the payback period and so on. So you have the simple payback method, which takes into account the years, number of years, and you have the discounted cash flow, which takes into account the discount rate and the number of years, obviously. So this is what you will do. The initial investment is 11 million pounds, and the project will last for five years. So the project will last for five years. Initial investment is 11 million with the following estimated cash inflows, cash flows per year. So you've got year one, year two, year three. So I've only got three years because I'm only gonna show you one year because the calculation is a bit too complex and too long for me to do and I'm kind of lazy like that. But the idea is you use this formula for the discounted cash flow calculation. This is the third method that you need to know for your investment appraisal chapter. So cash flow, you, you take the cash flow, you take the cash flow and you divide it by the discount rate multiple. And how do you get the multiple? You get take one, you take one, you do one plus the discount rate, which is the R, one plus discount rate, to the power of the number of years, which is one. So in this example, for year one, you would take the cash flow, which is one million, one million, and divide it by one plus 0 0.05 to the power of one. How did we get zero, uh, 0.05? Well, we found in our question that the company's rated average cost of capital is 5%. 5% is simply 0 0.05 and you do 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power of the number of years which is year 1 and that should come to something like 952 and so on. I literally calculated it, but I sort of forgot. So, okay, I think it was three, 
eight, yeah, yeah, nine five two three eight. It was three eighty point something something, but yeah. So we rounded it off, and it was three eight one. Okay, so it comes around to nine hundred and fifty two thousand and three hundred eighty one. So that's our discounted cash flow value for year one. And you do the same thing for year two. You do the same thing. The only difference here for year two would be instead of to the power of one, you would put two. And you should get your answer should be 907 something something. And then you go to year three. Year three, you change the value and it becomes four million and divided by one plus naught point. Not five to the power of three and the answer should be something something and so on so this was your discounted cash flow method of investment appraisal